Turn it up! Scotty Too Hotty has turned up the heat on Twitter. He dared to criticise intergender wrestling. He dared to say that men should not be competing with women and now he faces the backlash. But don't worry Scotty, Fog Wrestling is here to save you. Welcome back guys to the channel. I had to make a video on this, not because Scotty Too Hotty needs my help, not because Scotty Too Hotty needs saved, but because I agree with Scotty Too Hotty, and I don't give a shit what these people say, what these millennials say, what these lefties say. I'm here to defend and I'm here to agree with Scotty Too Hotty, the fucking legend. So let's all ride that worm train and get in to what Scotty Too Hotty had to say. Now this is a series of tweets Scotty Too Hotty made and I'm guessing he just stacked them on top of each other because I know Twitter has the 144 character, uh, you know, tweet limit so I guess he just tweeted, then tweeted upon that tweet, then tweeted on that tweet, then jumped on with another tweet on top of that tweet and you get the point here, he was doing a lot of tweeting. But Scotty says, and I quote, Dear promoters, I do not fight women. I'm 49 and have a 20 year old daughter. Hurting women isn't appealing to me. I understand that there are men that do it these days. It's just not my thing. If that makes me old or out of touch, I'll take it. Please stop trying to book it. Also, before my matches from 20 plus years ago with Linda Miles, China or any other women are brought up, I know what I did. It was a different time, a different place and I wasn't a father to a 20 year old daughter. As uh, unquote. So that's what Scotty Too Hotty had to say on the whole intergender wrestling matter. He does not want to fight women. I guess he's sick of promoters contacting him, trying to book him in intergender matches. And you know what? He is 100% right. Men should not fight women. Now, first of all, we will address the China situation because he did say that he wrestled China, but China was like literally pushed as one of the men. China was a freak of nature. So when China was facing a man, it almost, it almost felt real. It almost felt like she was on a level playing field. But even then, if you notice, China always had to cheat. She always needed outside interference or she always needed a low blow to beat somebody unless she was taking on like a comedy act like uh, like the Br Briscoe and Patterson. So China always needed help. She never really beat any man on her own. And as for anyone else, as for all the other women that were doing any sort of intergender wrestling matches back in the WWE, back in that day, it was not a proper match. It was always like, oh, the man had a arm tied behind his back or he would only do one move or there would be outside interference or there would be a numbers game. It was never actually a legit match. China was the only person that took on males in legit matches. I remember the Battle of the Sexes match. It was Lita and Trish versus Jericho and Christian. Jericho and Christian didn't try. They were basically taking the piss the entire match, you know, they were they were messing about with Lita and Trish. It wasn't an actual proper match, so I think Scotty Too Hotty is 100% right here. He doesn't need to question what he's done in the past. We all know that women can't beat men and it's fucking dumb. It doesn't make any sense. It wasn't that long ago that TNA Impact Wrestling had Tessa Blanchard as their world champion. For fuck's sake, she was actually beating men. Legit in 20 minute matches and in my opinion that's when that company officially died that's when that belt was meaningless they had a woman actually beat up men and this woman didn't look like china she wasn't big she wasn't strong she wasn't fucking powerful she'd had no special ability she had no help she was beating men with her little fucking girly frame one-on-one -on -one. it made zero sense and i've also criticized wwe over the past like six months, the way they have Rhea Ripley, Scarlett Bordeaux, women like that get physical, interact with the men and I just don't like it. I think it's dumb because you know the woman's going to attack the man and the man can't do anything because men shouldn't be hitting women. And I don't expect Rhea Ripley to actually get in a match and have a match with AJ. That's never going to happen, so why do it? And all the men are booked to look cowardly because they're being attacked by women. And oh, how do we solve the Rhea Ripley problem? I tell you how you solve it. AJ Styles punches Rhea Ripley and she's fucking dead. It's finished. She is over. So I just don't like it. I think back in the day, I remember in, in the attitude era, I mean, you had people like Stephen McMahon maybe getting involved at ringside. She'd be beating up The Rock. She'd be like, you know, slapping The Rock, um, you know, sl slapping Jericho. Then sooner or later, one of those guys would snap and The Rock would hit her with a rock bottom or Jericho would put her in the walls of Jericho and that made sense that was good 
You know, because we all know that one move for a man would just, you know, debilitate a woman. She would not be able to handle it. She would not be able to get up from it. And that's what always happened. But you never seen The Rock go one-on-one -on -one with Stephanie McMahon. you never seen Chris Jericho going one-on-one -on -one with Stephanie McMahon in a legit match because we all know it would last five seconds. But no, people want to pretend that intergender wrestling is great. People want to call Scotty Too Hot a uh, misogynist. He, uh, he hates women. Toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity, you name it, you name all those buzzwords that they've all been thrown at Scotty Too Hotty. Well, fuck those people, right? Scotty Too Hotty is right here, and I will defend Scotty Too Hotty. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm not saying women's wrestling and men's wrestling should be 100% separate. I actually like the fact that you have some females that manage wrestlers, like male wrestlers. I like that. But them always getting physical with the man and the man not being able to do anything back is dumb. But it would be even more dumber if they actually had a match because the man would fucking destroy her in 10 seconds. So, no, I agree with Scotty Too Hotty here, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Do you agree with Scotty Too Hotty or do you like intergender wrestling? Do you think intergender wrestling is good? I personally don't, but maybe you guys do. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, though, peace.